What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? So recently Jagar was caught with a Krona Zen. Those of you that do not know, I will link you that video in the end screen and that sparked another discussion because suckers are saying that it's cheating, some suckers are saying it's not cheating and I skimmed through this video, you are about to see the actual effects of this thing guys in action and this thing is so wild and I cannot even believe it that the guy would say well it's not cheating. You're about to see it. Like this video, share this video, and roll it. Very to popular belief, Cronus has been around for way longer than Fortnite. In fact, Damn. they've been around for over 10 years. And it has been a hot topic in many other gaming communities. But before we get into all of that, let's start with a bit of history. The Cronus Max V1 was the first ever model that got released in October of 2013. It was one of the first in gaming to solve a rather annoying problem. The problem of not being able to use your favorite controller on a different console. Well, oh, no. Cronus Max made this possible. And this was also so by solving this problem, Sigas uh, actually found a new way to get their dopamine supply. Oh so the main focus of their marketing. They released videos of being the world's first in many aspects, like using a keyboard and mouse on Xbox One, and a few months after, Cronus Max V1 was discontinued to make place for V2. This version came with the introduction of scripts and mods, and not much later, the Cronus Max Plus was released. The device I mean, look at that, god damn, this is an alien technology ready to just blow up. Bro. Ice was now getting insanely useful with the addition of these new features. <laughs> and with it, came slight controversy. This first showed when they made a video about the double shot mod in Halo 2. And the Halo community probably wasn't happy about this based on the fact that the comments were turned off. But yeah. this was only the beginning, as more yeah. videos followed. I wonder why they turned the comments off, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Anti-recoil, rapid fire, drop shots, jitter, any mod you want for any game you play. That's However, crazy. the hate and controversy was still minimal at this point. At Collective Minds, the company behind And that's kind of like what I, I think what happened with J God as well, because Sega's are saying J God is cheating, some are defending him, some are saying he's cheating. Because uh, if you have not seen that video, I will link you in the end screen and you're gonna get the context. But if you have already seen that video, I think J God was not necessarily looking to cheat. Stop the cat. I, I think he was using it at a point at a time for something else, but it's still a little bit suspect though. Uh, it's Cronus we're gonna get was into about to strike on, okay? the deal of a lifetime. Around this time, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One were fierce competitors. And Activision, the publisher of Call of Duty, supported the PlayStation more due to better sales, easier developing for games, and an exclusivity deal. This meant that Pro And it was at a time when Xbox One they like flopped their they flopped their marketing when they introduced that hey it's gonna be always online and with the with the camera as well i, bl I believe it was called connect or some players squash. in the call of duty league had to play on playstations with its included bluetooth controllers however there was a problem, because when you put 8 to 12 pros in close proximity at a LAN event together, Bluetooth interference is a given, yeah. resulting in... It's a, it's a recipe of disaster, bro. It's a recipe for a disaster that is about to happen. ...controller lag. And this wasn't even limited to controllers, as fans standing nearby with smartphones caused problems as well. The solution to all of this turmoil? Wired controllers. But the USB function didn't work properly due to a design flaw by Sony, which meant that it ultimately came down to using Chrome. Activision Damn. partnered up with the company and distributed them for every tournament, oh, all the way up until 2021. But in 2018, the marketing strategy what? of Cronus changed with the introduction of a new product. The oh my god! So they got a new product. Oh shit, okay, so I need to see what that is all about. So at one point, point to be noted, Activision was distributing it. <laughs> but, but, I'm, but, 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 <laughs> but I'm assuming at that point, it wasn't considered cheating but i believe they found something they found out that this alien technology has a new strain and be and before that strain uh actually gets shared we gotta stop it we gotta pump the brakes right then and there but did you actually notice that they used to do consoles only tournament at the time playstation specifically i would love to see some like that back i feel like that tournament should be consoles only whether xbox or playstation don't do it on pc because how many times they singers have been caught cheating uh on their pcs at the tournaments right like we, it should be consoles and LAN only at the, the event like if you agree 
We got the Cronus then right Fortnite now. Fortnite was getting extremely popular in 2018, and Cronus was one of the many companies that jumped on the trend. In fact, they made a special game pack for it, including a double pump mod, anti recoil, aim abuse, rapid fire, and much more. Yes, your whole life has been a lie up until this point, because Cronus has existed in Fortnite since the beginning. It just Damn. wasn't as popular as the yeah. Zen. Well, that changed when the Zen got released in June of 2020, because the tutorial posted after its release <laughs> got almost 600,000 views. Their YouTube channel oh was now only God. posting videos about their modded game packs, and they had seemed to have forgotten about its original purpose. Cont Man, back in my days, you know, our ancestors were like, okay, how to get dope mean? You know, how to get dope mean? I should actually think about climbing a Mount Everest. This was one of their way Bruh. to get dopamine. They would, you know, focus on getting healthy, eating healthy, sleeping on time, something that nobody does nowadays, right? They would gather their supplies, they would make a ton of money, and they would put all of their ducks in a row so they can one day go ahead and climb Mount Everest, and then they would go ahead and climb Mount Everest! And they would get that dopamine after months of research, months of pain, maybe even years, right? Years of setup. They would finally able to climb the top of the Mount Everest to get all that dopamine. And today's kids are like, well, I can just buy a Kronos and, you know, just wait for the shipment. And once it's here, then you, uh, you install it. And you can get dopamine within five minutes, bro. That's, I mean, that's crazy, bro. Trotter compatibility. But do you blame them? Because they were about to make a bank. It was now 2020. Something came into the world. I don't know, a virus or something. You might have heard of it. And everyone and their mother had to stay home at this point. This also meant... Yeah, make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button, guys. That gaming tournaments were mostly hosted online from now on. And with it came the ability to hide mods and other cheats. Now, this wasn't just in tournaments. As we we all know the hacker and cheating problem Call of Duty Warzone faced, and Activision now claimed that they were fighting against the device they once partnered with, stating that they were looking to work with Sony and Microsoft on these issues. But what about Fortnite? Well, complaints from the community increased, rumors of it being bannable spread like wildfire, and every top controller player faced accusations. But no yeah, that's crazy, man. And, and I wonder, I wonder the, com the, the Call of Duty streamers at that point, Fortnite streamers, that I'm 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 certain that most of them were using at that point, right? And it was probably considered cool uh, to use it at that time, I I guess. And they were all panicking though. They were like, <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta stop using it, man. I, I'm gonna get banned, man. I'm gonna get banned. I mean, get more, bro. Not a single confirmed ban or word from Epic Games was made on the subject, causing Buzz more rumors. and more people to use it. To show you an example, Exalted made a video in which he accused Reed of using a Zen, but then put an Amazon affiliate link to the Cronus Zen in the description. Bomboka! <laughs> Yo, you cannot. You cannot be that stupid bro like Krona Zen use code exalted buy yourself a Krona Zen and guys do not search for Krona Zen okay I see what you're doing right now do not search for that bro on which he would get a part of the revenue made from sales through that link. Two months after he uploaded that video on YouTube, he showed the results. And Damn. more than 80,000 people ordered a Zen from that link in those two months. And oh last week, God. I asked him for an update. He has oh my God. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Bro, that's insane. And this is like Amazon affiliate, bro. Like... Bombocat! Yo, what have... I've been living my life wrong, guys. I've been living my... <laughs> I'd be living my life wrong, man. Like, this be spawning, like, a lot of ideas right now. But now, nah, bro, like, I gotta sell something else, not this, bro. This is crazy. Total item ship, 209,000. 209,000? It got a million, 1.7 million clicks. Conversion rate, 13%. 13, 13. I mean, duh! Dude, 13% is a crazy conversion rate because usually suckers are happy with 1%, uh, you know, sell conversion rate and that's considered really, really good. You know, if, if you do like a 1% sale con conversion, you're considered a genius in, in like marketing, in affiliate marketing because it's hard. It really is hard. 
So 13%, oh my goodness. I mean, I get it, bro. This is like a like a gaming hack 101 right now. It's now sold more than 200,000 cents through that link, which meant that more than 25% of the 700,000 people that watched that video bought a Zen. Remember, this is just one video, and the total amount of Zens in Fortnite could be well over a million. Also, Damn. it doesn't really help that you can literally buy it anywhere. But the question is, does the Zen really make you better? And is it really that much of a problem? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, boys, boys, I think we better get to the, the climax part. Do you think it's a problem or not problem? Because I feel like that anything, if it's a third-party software that the masses don't have that nobody has, and it makes your game easier, whether that's like no recoil. That's cheating though, come on man, that's cheating. But you're about to hear his response and I need to hear what you guys think in the comments. Well, here. let's first debunk some myths about the Zen. Number okay. one, it doesn't give you aimbot. And oh, number man. two, it will not make you a pro if you already suck. Now okay, this, uh, the, the part about aimbot, uh, I, I'll be honest here, no need to, no need for me to lie here or doesn't matter, but, but, but here's the thing. I always thought that Kronos gave you aimbot. Uh, so that's one thing that I learned from this that, okay, oh shit, it does not give you aimbot. Maybe the new version gives you, but yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't have it. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Now don't like, get me wrong, know, the Zen like... will give you an unfair advantage. But it's not blatant aimbot and wall hacking as people make it out to be. Your aim assist will be stickier with soft aim, you will get macros for instant reset binds, anti-recoil and rapid fire can be enabled, and yeah. there are plenty of other mods. The device is incredibly beneficial for players already competing at the top level, as it's undetectable and gives them the edge over similar competitors. But when we look at the average Zen buyer, then we see the opposite. Most yeah. people buy Cronus for- In my opinion, that's like 100% cheating. Uh, like that's a hundred percent cheating because if you have the knowledge of playing games because there are players I, I i shit you not man they're players especially like new people that start playing and it's perfectly fine you and i were also like this so not shaming them but let's be real if you pick up a controller today for the first time you're gonna look at the screen if it says press square you're gonna be looking down on your controller uh uh where is square ah it's here i found it then click and then you look at, we all started like that, right? Like, come on, man. We all started like that. We would look down on our controller and look at the screen like that, like that, like that, like that. You know what I mean, right? And for them, this is going to do nothing because they don't understand it. But once you learn about it, once you have played the games for years and years and you develop a skill and you are decent at the game and you pair something like that, Brad, you're going to be a god in the game. Let's be real. No recoil. You can have a bunch of macros, a bunch of mods. Like, Brad, come on, man, that, that is cheating because it's a third-party software or hard hardware that you're getting and the masses don't have it. If the if everybody had that, then it's not cheating, right? Because if that's available to everybody, we're on the same playing field, if that makes sense. Scripts thinking it's like aim buttons going Pots? to turn them into a pro. I myself was one of these people. If that's you, then save your money because you won't be happy. And I think that most players will share this sentiment as they see the accusations made around the product and think it will make them into the new mongrel. However, we talked about the opinion of the community and the silence of Epic Games, but what about Cronus themselves? What do mm. they think? Well, the statement they use most of the time on YouTube is that it's completely legitimate without any hacking. Well-known stores have sold their products for years. They point out their partnership in the past with Activision Damn. and state once again that it's not hacking. And they have a oh point here. It is in fact not hacking. And to yeah, I mean like that bomba card. It's, it's like yeah, it's not hacking, but it is cheating. It is cheating. I believe them when they say it's not hacking, but it is cheating though. <laughs> they really did create this alien technology, ladies and gentlemen, that be ruining gaming, right? And I'm sure, like, how many people... L let's think about it for a second, right? We had Kronos then. I'm not sure what else they got. I heard about the Kronos Max, right? We got the Max, we got the Pro version. And God knows, like, who was watching this crap and who reverse engineered it and made some insane... Because there was another cheat uh, came out, I believe the D DMA. It's super old, it's super old. But it's recently picking up because it's one of those devices that you can install in your PC. Uh, I believe on PCIe slot. And, and it's undetectable. Oh, shit. You cannot be caught cheating with that thing. It's insane, man. Like somebody The discussion becomes difficult it, when it comes to the cheating argument. Yes, it has been a problem within competitive gaming and they definitely get used to cheat. But there are also many disabled and elderly people benefiting from their creation. They received many testimonials in the Gamers with Disabilities area on their forum. And a quick search on Damn. the internet shows that it makes the okay on this one 
what you guys think? Like, yeah, wow, I'm over 60 arthritis and shaking in my hands. I cannot play with single fire weapons because I can't pull the trigger near fast enough. I even have trouble moving around obstacles and maps sometimes. My KD is 0.63. I'll kill two and four, die 30 times. My hands and fingers just don't work right. I just order a Zen and I hope it allows me to play games I love. For single player games, I guess no, I have nothing, I have no problem with this, right? Like, whether you hack in single player games, you cheat in, I mean, you cannot cheat in single player games, but you can have mods or, you know, we, in fact, we even had cheat codes in games like GTA San Andreas, if you remember GTA 4, I, I'm not sure about GTA 5, I used to cheat a lot in GTA San Andreas, in single player, obviously, uh, but, okay, for single player games, I got no problem, but for multiplayer games, I'm not sure, especially if you're, like, yeah, right, like, if you, I don't know, man, this is, what you guys think on this one? If somebody's sick, uh, and using it, you guys mind, or nah? The experience for what people with arthritis a lot better, but this wasn't enough for me. I wanted to give them a chance to defend themselves even further, so I decided to email them. This is how it went. I sent them a request for an interview with included questions, they started working on my request, didn't reply back to me for a few days, then right. replied that they haven't heard anything back from me in a few days, asking if I still needed assistance. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's classic 101 right there. Which I replied yes to. Then got a mail back that they heard nothing back and closed the ticket. Which Bruh. I replied to that I would still like to reply back. And that was the end of the helpful conversation. Yeah. I emailed... Guys, this is that video of J-God recently. Uh, 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 he was caught with the Kronos. And I'm not sure how you guys would feel about it. Click on this video and, and let me know your thoughts there.